Too late is too late, a question that has pursued Sheffield Wednesday all week. Peter Shreves, facing what is traditionally called a challenge, knew it was odds against, but would still give it what he would no doubt have called his best shot. Unfortunately for Wednesday, Shielder Bielder's best shot was not quite good enough. Back off the post, and then straight at the goalkeeper. But De Bielder did contribute to the opening goal, his foul on Mark Somerville. Paul Ince's quick free kick. Andy Campbell scores. One man's international duty, another man's opportunity. Campbell only playing because Hamilton Ricard was with Colombia. The youngster looked to be heading for a second when Kevin Pressman upended him in the area. Penalty, but only a yellow card, so the goalkeeper stayed on. And when Juninho took the kick, Pressman made the save. Did the Brazilian one wonders think of a similar failure at Old Trafford? Then from inside Burroughs half, Vim Yonk and Peter Atherton nearly contrived an own goal. Pressman to the rescue, the new manager given evidence of the task facing him. But he wasn't downhearted in the least. The results have gone our way today, and in as much as we haven't lost any ground, so I've now got 10 days before the next match with Villa on uh, Wednesday week. Uh, I might pick up uh, a couple of more out of the injury uh, treatment room. So, uh, yes, I, I was absolutely delighted with the way we played today. Sunderland fans got their first glimpse of new signing Milton Nunes at the Stadium of Light. The Honduran is 5'5 five five and nicknamed Tyson. He's got fast hands, wonder what his feet can do. Sunderland didn't pull any punches without him in a match that turned into a mini goal of the month competition. Nicky Summerby started it, his free kick beating Paul Gerrard from distance. On closer inspection though, it was helped on its way via the shin of Mark Hughes. Nicky Barmby was the next to offer a masterclass in finishing. The home side struggled to clear their lines and Stephen Hughes teed up a Barmby blockbuster. The Sunderland goalkeeper Thomas Sorensen barely had a chance to see it, much less stop it. Sunderland's new nickname, the Black Cats, hasn't brought them much luck of late. They hadn't won in the league since December the 18th. And with Alex Ray missing chances like that, Everton were always in the hunt. In fact, they should have gone in front. Mark Hughes has won the odd goal of the month competition in his time. Indeed, volleys used to be his speciality. Not, perhaps, on this occasion. Finding the target, though, hasn't been a problem for Kevin Phillips this season. But even by his high standards, goal number 26 was just a little bit special. It was a fitting climax to Sunderland's first win of the millennium and another gentle nudge of the elbow for England coach Kevin Keegan. The goal today was obviously created by myself and, and finished by myself. Captain's armband on his sleeve. The day seemed to be set up for Darren Anderton. The first half free kick could have been the moment, but Alec Chamberlain wasn't discomforted. The goalkeeper's luck changed after the interval. His attempted clearance cannoned off Chris Armstrong and made scoring a formality. But that's seven goals in the last 11 games for Armstrong, a player who hasn't always been made to feel loved by Spurs fans. Not a memorable game, but Nordine Vota improved the general level in setting up a Watford equaliser for Alan Smart. But this is still only the third time that Watford have played two consecutive Premiership games without losing. A win today would have really started to get things a little... Manchester United's win restores their lead to seven points. They've lost just once in the league this year. Leeds will cut the gap to four if they can win at Leicester tomorrow. Liverpool are now unbeaten in nine matches and remain on course to replace in next season's Champions League. Chelsea are fourth, a point ahead of Arsenal, who meet Coventry tomorrow. None of the bottom four sides won today, meaning there's no change in the relegation places. Watford's draw puts them just two points behind Sheffield Wednesday, but time is running out for both sides. Bradford's defeat means they remain two points behind Derby. Wimbledon take on West Ham tomorrow, while Southampton edge closer to safety with today's draw at Chelsea.